Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video we're going to talk about whether or not you should use paper in an age where there are so many productivity apps available. Okay, so shortly after Apple opened up their now well-known app store, they had a slogan that got tossed around quite a bit and that was, there's an app for that. And if it was true then, it's even more true now because as smartphones dominate our culture and even our work and daily lives, it's pretty common to ask the question, why should I even bother with paper? This was pretty prevalent years ago as ebooks started to rise in popularity and as seemingly print started to decline. We've noticed, however, that at following that trend, we've noticed that print books are actually on the rise again. We're actually starting to see a little bit of a decrease in ebooks. So today I wanted to take some time to address, the que address a question that comes up pretty regularly. In fact, in a previous video, I had talked all about the Full Focus Planner and how I use that to plan out my day as well as to manage my daily workflow. The question had something to do with, well, with so many different apps out there, why would you even go through the process of creating or using a daily or paper-based planning system? So what I wanted to do in this video was just break down for you the five reasons why I decided to stick with a paper planner and still accompany it with digital tools but use it as the core driver of my productivity workflow. So let's go ahead and break those down. Okay, so the first reason that I really like having a paper planner or a paper solution as opposed to a completely digital solution for managing my daily tasks is that it helps me focus. With a paper planner, specifically one that focuses on a daily workflow, so for example, the daily big three with the tasks off to the side and then uh, you know notes that are specific to that day, you can focus on that day. The problem with a digital solution, a digital task list, let's say, or a digital calendar, is that you're gonna have a list of tasks and those tasks may not all be relevant to this day, so you're gonna have a lot of clutter. A paper planner, on the other hand, is going to get you to take a look at your day. You're gonna to get to plan out, okay, so which are the specific things that I have to get done today and at what point in time during the day am I going to get those things done? If you've just got a massive list of tasks, number one, it's gonna make you feel a little bit overwhelmed and number two, you're not really gonna know which specific things you need to be focusing on to ensure that you're actually moving forward. I can't tell you the number of people who I've talked to who just get to the end of the day and they feel burnt out. They feel like they haven't gotten anything done. Now, in reality, they've probably gotten almost as much done as they would have had they just focused on those initial three top things that they had to get done. But because you're just swimming in this pool of tasks, you never quite know how much you're actually getting done. With a paper planner, you can simply go through, plan out, okay, these are the top three things I need to get done today, focus on those things. Then when you're done with your day or even the next day, you can flip back a page and see, oh, okay, I got that done, that done, that done. So now for today, I can plan on doing this, this, and this. It helps you focus, it helps you streamline what it is that you need to do while making it really easy for you to just flip back a page to see what was done yesterday in preparing for the next day. The second reason why I really like a paper-based planner or process for managing my daily workflow is it eliminates distractions. I don't know about you, but if you pop open any app, if you just open up your phone and even just go to the home screen, you are bombarded with a plethora of apps. So there's going to be social media, there's games, there's email, there's calendars, there is a ton of stuff, plus notifications. If you have any notifications on at all, those are going to be distractions. I can tell you in the past, prior, before I actually deleted a bunch of social media apps off of my phone, it wasn't very uncommon for me to pop open my task list and you know, in between checking my task list to go through and actually pop open, oh, I'll just scroll through Instagram real quick. That is a huge time waster. When it comes to a paper planner, you're, there are no external apps, there are no notifications, there is just what you wrote down and that's it. So you can simply look at, okay, this is the next thing I need to be focusing on, then go back to actually getting that thing done. At the end of the day, it's just a huge time saver. Distractions are probably the number one hindrance to a productive workflow. And so eliminating them is a huge benefit to getting more things done. 
Now the third one may only apply to me or to some folks out there, but I tend to actually write a lot faster than I can type, specifically on a phone or a tablet, right? So when it comes to a ta to an app, whether you're using it on your computer or on a phone or a smart device of some sort, eventually you have to punch those things in unless you're using some sort of stylus, which is actually going to have to do with number four but you have to type this in. And I don't know about you, but I can actually write a lot quicker. Plus I'm kind of, then this might only be me as well, but I might actually do, I've got a little system where I've got stars or boxes or check marks or things that I can just scribble really quickly to indicate something. So whether it is a task that has to be done or a note that has to be input into an actual, you know, collaborative task management system or something else. There's little things that I can jot or scribble down with pen and paper much faster than I can type. Plus the other thing is that when you're trying to type something out, a lot of us, at least this accounts for me anyways, when I'm trying to type something out, I'm trying to be very thorough in what I'm typing and it just takes more time. When, I'm, when I've just got a pen and a paper, I'm just jotting. I just wanna get that information down as quickly as possible and move on to what I'm doing next. So at the end of the day, just jotting things down, for me anyways, is way quicker. And number four is an obvious but often overlooked reason why it's so nice to have an analog paper-based system as opposed to relying solely on an app is there's no batteries. Your paper planner or your paper notebook is not going to die on you as you are trying to take some notes or as you are trying to jot down something that you need to get done. So quick story, there was a while back, I had uh, an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. I've actually got the newer generation now and I really like it, I really like using it. However, I don't depend upon it for my daily note taking or my daily planning needs. The reason is because I had a meeting I was in and I was trying to be fancy and trying to go all digital because I wanted to be able to easily search and archive all the notes that I had taken later. Until I come to realize that as I'm going through and I'm getting ready to take notes, flip out that fancy iPad Pro, and then, you know, get the Apple Pencil out and I start writing and notice that there is no connection. There is no actual digital ink being uh, pressed down on the digital paper which I come to realize that my Apple Pencil never fully charged. So I was left without that stylus and without the ability to take notes. Now, I was able to pull out the weird little keyboard and start typing some things in. However, it significantly handicapped how much I was actually able to note take in a situation where I really needed to note take. So that's why from that point forward, never again will I rely solely on a digital source because your battery's never gonna go dead on a piece of paper and a pen. Now your pen can run out of ink, but you can always bring extra pens. But for me, it was a huge lesson to remember that when you need something reliable, the simplest option is usually the best. And the last reason I really enjoy jotting things down or I like to is that from my experience, it actually helps me remember things better. In fact, there's been a number of studies that have been done throughout the years that act, the act of actually writing something down stimulates something in our brains that actually helps us to remember something better. So by just simply jotting down a task that you have to do, you're much more likely to actually remember that. It's more of training yourself as opposed to being trained by your device. Okay, so that isn't to say that I completely have gone analog. I haven't tossed apps out the window. There's a number of situations where an app really does make sense. For example, I use Basecamp. In fact, I've done a video a little while back about how I use Basecamp in tandem with the full focus planner. There comes a situation where you just need to collaborate with a team or clients or other people, at which point you can't just take your planner and hand it around to different people. You actually need some sort of software to be able to collaborate. So I'm not completely against apps. What I am for, however, is using paper when and where necessary as, as opposed to just taking this approach to where it's newer, it's digital, therefore it must be better. Okay, so that was my two cents on the whole paper versus digital argument and kind of some thoughts in there. Hopefully you found that useful, but I'd also like to hear from you. What's been your experience? Are there some specific apps that you like to use? Do you use paper? Are you all paper or, or analog or are you all you know, digital with apps or have you come up with a hybrid solution between the two? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.